All right, we're going to cut some custom parts for uh, cabinetry. And uh, the machine's going to come over and it's going to change the bit to a half inch down shear bit. Because it's going to do some dadoing first. So we're just going to go about an eighth of an inch into the top of the part and put a dado, a three quarter inch dado, with a half inch bit. So you'll see that it makes two passes and it moves over the appropriate amount of distance to get the proper thickness of the dado. That's how we can get any size dado with a half inch bit. So it goes back and forth twice and it, there is a little bit of movement in this long axis or the Y axis in between those. So there's quite a bit of dadoing on the top of this part on top of this part. See there's two thick shelves that are right next to each other and it's going to be built up to a a two inch solid looking shelf with a little uh, half inch space in between. So with each one of those passes I'm getting that same exact thickness. And we can mic the material. We need to mic the material. It's not really a three quarter. It's like point seven three five and uh, this machine and the software has the ability to move that bit just the right amount so that we are 0.735 or own, I can add a variable to it and oversize the dado by the material thickness plus a dimension as well. I think it's oversized at about 128th of an inch it uh, lets us slip it in there without fighting it too much. There is a little bit of uh, variation in the thickness of the material so you're better to be just a little bit wider than narrower. Now it's going to change to the outlining tool. It's going to be a half inch compression bit where that bit right there shears up from the bottom and shears down from the top so that it doesn't tear out at the bottom of the sheet or the top. Now this machine is set up to link the outlines. Notice that that went down into the material and it's not coming up. It's not cutting one part at a time and then moving and cutting another part. It links the outlining together so that the machine stays down on the deck and continues around and moves. Now right there it moves over about a sixteenth of an inch and gets the other adjoining part. So so now there's just two big rectangles and it just went down into the material one time. Now it's all done and it goes and nests itself over into the corner. And the, you'll see the pins come up. That's when the vacuum is released.